Formula E cars are designed to be raced around street circuits. This is every race is run on a street circuit rather than a conventional circuit. And because of street racing and because the cars are so equal in performance, Spark Racing, who designed the chassis, made uh, attempts to make sure that the cars weren't creating problems with each other. So the cars have these very large fenders in front of the front tyres and behind the rear tyres, so there's less wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact. Uh, they also have steel suspension, which copes much better with impacts. If we then compare that to a Formula One car, the wheels are completely exposed. The only thing in front of the wheels would be the front wing, and then obviously the rear wing behind the car, and all of the suspension components are made of carbon fibre. So when a Formula One car goes off the track or hits another car, what you find is all of these elements tend to break up and it looks very dramatic that the front wing flies off and the suspension breaks into a million pieces and the wheels are held on by the tethers and obviously the rear wing can come off as well. With a Formula E car, the car's built to be much tougher. So initial impacts would not break the suspension completely. The steel suspension would tend to bend, but actually retain the wheel largely in the orientation that it should be in rather than having it running completely loose, although they do have tethers to make sure the wheel doesn't fly off in the event of a big accident. Equally, the front and the rear fenders around the rear tyres will absorb some of the impact, and again, these are very strong structures and they don't tend to fly off as soon as you hit a barrier. So when you see a Formula E car go off and hit the barriers, it tends to remain much more in one piece than it would do, for example, with a Formula One car. It's partly to do with the fact that they've only got to run two cars um, and they have to make sure that they can come out in between races. But equally, it's much more about the fact that with street racing, contact between cars and between cars and walls is inevitable. So the cars were built to be tough in the first place.